Welcome back to more of that for my first gaming video, Minecraft Pocket. This building we're in right now was inspired by a Captain Sparkles video, where he was in some big kind of a cube. A cube much more advanced and complete than this one. Yes, this is a statue of a big horse, and under its belly used to be my bed. The bed went missing somewhere in the process of the zombie apocalypse. After trial and error, walls, doors, lights, I have realized that this house was haunted because the monsters kept spawning inside between walls that sealed off from anything else. So that is why I left it. I decided on a glass tunnel so I could see what's going on around me and also seal my butt off as I go to stay safe. Of course, part of choosing glass was because of its aesthetic value. And it's just the way I built. I like glass. So I was digging and building, digging and building 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 and, building and then I needed to rest so I built a bedroom. And then I continued building. With doors. Lots of doors. Thank you, horse, for your services. I will now unload you and let you rest. Look, your friends are happy to see you. I don't know if it's just because you're cool or because you survived the haunted house. Let's get inside. I'm getting wet out here. And this is the part where I remind you that this is Minecraft Pocket. I do not have straight forward or straight left or straight right directions. I need to scroll to a direction and then hit forward and hope it's straight. For that reason, we will be climbing these staircases up and down, like a person who had one drink too many. Take moments to appreciate this view as we climb higher and higher and higher. Being fairly new at Minecraft, I obtain these beacon lights from creative mode. Yes, they had a free-for-all sale. Look at that tunnel. I'm so glad we chose glass. It looks pretty. I think the reason I like glass so much is that in the beginning I could never really tell for sure when it was day or night. I should have gone to bed, wait for night and sleep. Instead, I kept on stumbling up the staircase, 
because I could not tell how close to night we are because it was overcast. And I'm never quite sure how far up this tower I am. And then the night fell on us. How often in Minecraft do you get to see a sunset from this level of elevation? It's just beautiful at so many levels. Oh look, lights in the bridge. And there are some beacon lights in the water as well. During building, there were times when I was standing on the edge of the top of this tower. Looking down, my stomach made somersaults. My own personal fear of heights were definitely tested. An interesting thing is, now that I'm on here at night looking down, I see areas, which except my tunnel of course, that I have not inhabited, which have lights. And I'm sure I'm going to go and investigate that later. There is one of them next to the water. Those are lights that I did not build. Maybe it's another village. I think the non-seed map is my favorite because instead of choosing a specific niche of map, the non-seed standard map has got a little bit of everything in it. It gives you jungle, water, bamboo, villages, abandoned villages, etc, etc. Please comment down below what is the highest structure that you have ever built. And remember to hit like, if you like. I promised you a tower taller than the clouds. We are about to climb through the cloud level now. The clouds are about one or two levels high or thick or whichever way you want to call it. I see my food level is low, so I think it's as good a time as any to have some dinner. Steak anyone? I'll show you a night cloud. Wait for it. See that grey part to the left? That is a cloud. It is time for fast forwarding this climbing business.
Alrighty then, we're up top. Top level. Cannot go much higher than this. What do you think? Do you think it was worth my time? And yours? Oh, actually, let's wait till the sunrise until you say. Uh, down there is a monument, the haunted house, where we started. When we get down from here, I actually want to take it just to see it from the other side as well. Well, I thought, let me make a bed so we can sleep and get this night part over with. And then before I got to it, really, the sun started coming up. I don't know where your buildings are situated, but how often do you see the sunrise from above the clouds in Minecraft? Or anywhere? Alrighty then, finally. Now let's go and grab us a pony.
Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Thank you. When I'm on a horse, I don't fit through the fence gates, so eh, we'll just go through the tower. Oh, look, a wild sheep. Let's make a friend. Oh, it loves us. It's making hearts. Let's go. To the left on the horizon, can you also see the horse mountain? This is one of the parts where a keyboard straightforward arrow would have been handy. I'm pretty sure the other horse was faster. Let's turn around, look at the tower and see where it actually goes higher than the clouds. Cool. Let's go. This is haunted house area, so let's get some pony protection. Diamonds will do. Up there is my first tower attempt, which inspired the Tower of Glass. I think we are being stalked by a little sheep. Oh, it's cute though. It can stalk us for a bit longer. I don't mind. Have some food. Nom 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 nom. Love hearts. Straight up ahead is a village, not much going on there. I did plunder it quite a bit and this in the beginning when I just built it was very impressive to me. Obviously now the tower is better and we just ran over a monster's head. Let's try and kaput it. Are you monstrous? Ah! You, get into the hole. Stay there. And you, kaput. Kaput it. Be kaput. Now you be kaput it. Let's go. I think this will make a good pond. Wonderful. I still have a bucket of water. Let's use it. That's a little better. I don't have more water here. I might fill it up more when I get here again. If I get here again, let's go. I see that my pony took a bit of a beating. 
so I think it's time for us to plan heading home. I'm holding a bone because maybe, maybe I could tame a wolf. Dog, dog, wolf, whatever you call them. Because they are awesome companions. They go and kill a monster for you before you even know there is a monster. I wonder if our sheep is still following us. Please let me know what you think of the tower. All kind comments are welcome. Oh gosh, we got back in time, sunset. This is the direction in which the lights were that I saw from the tower. Cool, this is the very first bat I see in Minecraft. There you go, Mr. Pony. You can take your jacket off now. I'll need to get rid of something to make space for his saddle. My inventory is full. Come on, go, go. Go, donkey. I hear monsters. Go. Thank you. Come on. Thanks.
Thank you very much, Mr. Pony. You've been good. You did not kaput on me, so there's an apple for you. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to eat you with it. Here's another one to make peace. There you go. Oh, good pony. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, that happened right at my fence. Ah, let me get some leashes because I'm gonna need to catch my horses. Ay. Oh boy, zombie. Kaput, kaput, kaput it. Yes. Zombies drop gold? Never seen that before. Well, kill more zombies. Okay, horses, come on, come on. Come on, let's leash you. You don't want to be out in the dark in the night. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to whack you with the leash. Hey, go and come on, boy. Yes. Come on. Oh, no, another zombie. <gasps> I need to kaput you. And not lose my horses. Kapak. Whack. Whack. The leash doesn't kaput very well. I need a diamond sword. Sword. Kaput. Right. Let's go catch my other horse. My baby mommy's coming. Yes. Come on. You're right, got you. Let me put you all in a safe place. Come on. That'll do. I'm sorry, you're going to have to be tied up over the night until I can fix your fence. Shoo, okay, that was action packed. Hmm. Let's get a bed. Let's end this day. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.